Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on transfer function from Bode plot. So let us first understand what is the given Bode plot. Now if we observe on this horizontal line frequency in radials per second is given and on the vertical line magnitude in dB is shown. Now if we observe the slope then here this slope is having frequency 0.25 up to 0.5 that means frequency is getting doubled. So we know that whenever the frequency is getting doubled then the range within these two frequencies is known as octave. So what is the slope given? So slope is 12 dB per octave. So how we can convert this into decade? So we have to Note down that whenever it is 12 dB per octave slope is given then it is equivalent to 40 dB per decade. So whenever here is plus and there is plus 12 dB per octave that means plus 40 dB per decade. Or whenever minus sign is there that is minus 12 dB per octave then we will say that minus 40 dB Per decade. So these two terms are equivalent to each other. Now if we move for the next that is here the frequency omega 1 0 0.5 to frequency omega 2 1. Now here the so frequency is getting double. So range is known as octave. So what is the slope that is 6 dB per octave. So how we can convert this into decade. So this 6 dB per octave is equivalent to 20 dB per decade. So you have to note down these two terms. Now from omega 2 to omega 3 there is no any slope because of this horizontal line. And for this horizontal line magnitude is shown that is 30 dB. Then if we move to the next then from omega 3 to omega 4 again Frequency is getting doubled from this 2 rad per second to 4 rad per second. So again this range is known as octave and what is the slope? That is minus 6 dB per octave. So for this minus 6 dB per octave we will say that slope is minus 20 dB per decade. Because we have to give here the minus sign. Now we will first move for the calculation of factors as well as corner frequency. For that we will make here one table. So what is the first column? First column is frequency range. We have to observe all this frequency and we have to write the range. Then the next column is net slope. Now we know that in Bode plot the slope is given that is the net slope so from this diagram we will fill up this second column also the third column is slope contributed so from this second column we have to calculate this next one is the corner frequency so here also uh, we have to refer the previous columns and we have to fill up this and then last one is the factor so these terms are important. Now we will first fill up these two columns with reference to this diagram. First I will take frequency range. So what is the frequency range? 0 0.25 up to omega 1. Omega 1. What is the net slope? That is 12 dB per octave. So I will write here slope in decade. So for this next slope that is I will write 40 dB per decade. Next is omega 1 to omega 2. Next slope 6 dB per octave that means plus 20 dB per decade. Next omega 2 to omega 3. So what is the next slope because of this horizontal line it is 0 dB per decade. Or we can say that octave but here because here in between this omega 2 to omega 3 
Uh, the range is also getting frequency is also getting doubled. So we will say zero dB per octave or zero dB per decade. Then omega three to omega four. Here minus six dB. So I will say that minus twenty dB per decade. So these two columns we have to fill up from. With reference to this diagram. Now, if we move to the third column, slope contributed. So this is the important, and we have to refer previous column. So for this first frequency range, we will take slope contributed as it is because for this first slope, slope there is no any addition or subtraction because we know that in Bode plot, this slope is known as the net slope. So this net slope for the first frequency range we will take as it is. That is, I will say forty dB per decade. Now what about the next? So here next is plus twenty dB per decade. Now here slope contributed we have to subtract the previous net slope. That is plus twenty minus forty. So plus twenty minus forty that is minus twenty dB per decade. Now again, we will move for the next. So here is zero dB. So zero dB minus previous slope that is plus twenty. So zero minus twenty again, I will write minus twenty dB per decade. Now we will move for the next. So here is minus twenty dB per decade. So minus twenty minus zero. So here is also minus twenty dB per decade. Now, if we observe for this first frequency range, there is no any increase or decrease in the slope contributed because we have taken net slope as it is, and after that we have calculated that is there is the addition or subtraction for the previous slope. So, whenever we write here the corner frequency, it depends on or whenever we decide here the factor then it depends on here increase or decrease in the slope contributed so here because no any slope is added or subtracted and we have taken net slope as it is for this first frequency range so we will write here corner frequency that is no corner frequency Then for the next, we will write what is the corner frequency. So I will write here that is the starting uh, frequency that is omega one for the next slope. So for this slope, I will write here omega one. Then for this next slope, omega two to omega three, I will write corner frequency omega two. And again, I will write here in between omega three and omega four, corner frequency is omega three. Now we will move for the factor. So how to decide the factor? So we know that whenever what is the standard form? That is one plus s t or one divided by one plus s t. Now how these factors are getting decided? For that we have to refer the slope contributed. So whenever The slope is minus twenty, then s is in the denominator. Whenever the slope is plus twenty, then s is in the numerator. Whenever the slope is minus forty, then we have to write one by s square. That is, s square is in the denominator. And whenever slope is plus forty, then s square is in the numerator. So this is the form. So you have to note down these things in your notebook. Now, for this first frequency range with no corner frequency, but slope contributed is plus forty dB per decade. So, for this plus forty dB per decade, s square is in the numerator. So, we have to take here s square is in the numerator, and we have to take that is constant k because no corner frequency here is some constant k is there because if we observe. What is the magnitude here? Zero dB. So if I write here zero dB magnitude, but here this slope will start from this. So what is the value? That is we don't know. So I will write here k square. 
this is the first factor now we will move for the next so for next slope contributed is minus 20 so here increase or decrease because of only calculation we have made the slope contributed so for this second slope there is increase or decrease from the previous slope so here for this minus 20 if we observe s is in the denominator now what is the standard form that is 1 divided by 1 plus st but here omega 1 that is nothing but we will say that t1 is equal to 1 by omega 1 so instead of t i will use t1 so how i can write here because of minus sign s is in the denominator so this is the standard form when s is in the denominator so i will write here 1 divided by 1 plus s t1 then for omega 2 again minus 20 so i will repeat this so instead of uh, t1 i will take t2 because t2 is equal to 1 by omega 2 so with corner frequency omega 2 i will write 1 divided by 1 plus s t2 then for omega 3 i will write here t3 is 1 by omega 3 so i will write 1 divided by 1 plus s t3 to find out the transfer function we have to first find out the unknown factors. So, if we observe for the first factor, we will find out the value of k. Now, if we observe here, at 0.25 frequency, magnitude is unknown. At 0.5 frequency, magnitude is unknown. So, we will first find out what is the magnitude at this omega 1. So, how to find out? Now, if we take this slope, which is 6 dB per octave, then at omega 1, magnitude is unknown, but at omega 2, magnitude is given, that is 30 dB. So, if I write here at omega 1, that is omega 1 is equal to 0 0.5 rad per second, what is the magnitude? That is magnitude A, which is question mark. And slope is given 6 dB per octave. So, I will write slope is equal to 6 dB per octave. Now, what is the meaning of octave? That is frequency is getting double. So, when frequency is getting double, so at omega 2, 0 0.5 multiplied by 2, that is 1. So, here it is given that at frequency 1, that is omega 2, that is at 1 rad per second. What is the magnitude? So, magnitude is given 30 dB. So, I will mention here 30 dB. Now, in between omega 1 and omega 2, slope is 6 dB per octave. If I observe this diagram, then here omega 1 is below this 30 dB. So, we have to take this slope that is octave means frequency is getting doubled. And what is the slope? So, difference in between these two magnitude is 6 dB. So, how to calculate the slope at omega 1? So, slope or uh, sorry magnitude at omega 1. So, magnitude at omega 1 is equal to. We have to take magnitude at omega 2 that is 30 dB minus we have to take what is the slope given in between this omega 1 and omega 2 that is 6 dB per octave. So, we have to subtract this 6 because omega 1 from the diagram omega 1 is below this omega 2. So, when we subtract this we will get the answer that is 30 minus 6 that is 24 dB. So, I will mention here 24 dB. So, this is the magnitude. Now we will move for the calculation of value of k. So how to find out? So we know that uh, when we solve the question for the Bode plot, then there is the formula with no corner frequency for this factor. So how to calculate magnitude? So simply we will write this formula. So magnitude for this first factor or we, we can say that with no corner frequency is equal. Magnitude is equal to 20 log of mod of this first factor. So, this factor is k s square. So, here we with the sinusoidal frequency we have to replace this s with j omega. Now, j is negative term. So, we will avoid this negative term and we will simply write k omega square. So, log of 
k omega square so this is the formula for this first factor with no causal frequency so remember this formula is only applicable for the first factor so here this is the formula now what is the magnitude now if we observe range in between 0.25 to omega 1 then at omega 1 magnitude is known so if i put here magnitude at omega 1 24 db and instead of omega i can take here omega 1 so i will write here 24 is equal to 20 log K. Now instead of omega I will take omega 1 square because here magnitude is known and I will take omega 1 square that is omega 1 is given 0 0.5 square. So here is the equation. Now we will simplify this. So we know that log to the base 10 always presents. Now we have to remove this log. Then how I can rewrite this equation? 10 raised to 24 by 20. So I will write here 10 raised to 24 by 20. So we have to take this term inside the bracket which is equal to k 0.5 square or we can say omega 1 square. Now we will calculate this. So if uh, from the calculator if we take inverse of log then here is the 10 raised to factor is there. So shift of log if we press then here 10 raised to. Now we have to put the bracket 24 divided by 20 bracket complete that is 15.84 divided by we have to take 0 0.5 square. 63.39 so i will take here value of k which is equal to 63.39 now we will calculate next unknown terms t1 t2 and t3 so if we observe the diagram here value of omega 1 is 0 0.5 so how to calculate t1 that is 1 by omega 1 that is 1 by 0 0.5 which is equal to 2 in the same way t2 is 1 by omega 2 so omega 2 is 1 so 1 by 1 that is 1 then omega 3 is nothing but this 2 so here t3 is 1 by omega 3 that is 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.5 so these are the unknown terms that we have calculated now how to write the transfer function so for that we have to write all these factors now what is the first factor that is in the numerator k into s square so instead of k we will write the calculated value that is 63.39 into s square divided by now if we observe this is the first the second factor is in the denominator that is 1 divided by 1 plus st1 so numerator is 1 so no need to write so 1 plus st1 so t1 is 2 so i will write 1 plus 2s then next is 1 1 divided by 1 plus st2 so t2 is 1 so i will write here it is also in the denominator so i will write 1 plus s then the last factor is also in the denominator 1 plus st3 so i will write 1 plus 0 0.5 t3 so this is the required transfer function